Hey everybody, hey Cardboard here, and in this video we are going to go over how to get started with LM Studio. I think this application is one of the best ways to get started really quick. It's super user friendly. This is what you're going to see after you install it. An installation is pretty easy. You just download the file, double click it, and then go through the installation process. There's nothing really to configure at first. You will get like a get started screen when you first open up LM Studio. You can skip that. I kind of recommend just skipping past it. And then a few quick setting things to get it where I'm at. Make sure you have power user selected at the bottom here, bottom left. And then I like dark mode. You can click this appearance thing up here and then just select dark for the theme. You can keep it light mode if you're crazy, but I prefer dark mode. And the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is load a model. Now, there are some hardware requirements. You're going to find that you have a tough time finding models that run well if you have less than eight gigabytes of VRAM. Six gigabytes is really the minimum. So if you're running like an old 1060 with six gigabytes, you could probably load a few models. But one way to see which models run well is click on the little search icon over here. It says discover. And you can see there's some really tiny models. So this one's 4.23 gigabytes. That's probably gonna fit on a, a six gigabyte VRAM video card. So if you have like a 1060, it'll probably work okay. Uh, you can see it's Q4, so uh, it's quantized and uh, it does okay. It's a specialized model uh, for tool use. So you can see there's different things they're used for. Uh, this is just reasoning, tool use, and then this one uh, is for creating like images. But as you can see here, it says full GPU offload possible. This means I can fit the model entirely in my GPU's memory, which makes it way faster. You're gonna find that if you can't fit it entirely on your GPU, you're gonna run into um, some issues with it just running super slow. So if I look at this like 70 billion model here, it says uh, likely too large. I'm gonna struggle with this. 36 billion partial GPU offload. And even if you do partial, it's going to be a little rough. So I prefer to find models that fit well. I've got a 5060 Ti and I've noticed that the uh, GPT OSS model, it's 20 billion, it fits really well and it works great. So we're gonna start out with that. We're just gonna click download here. And if you click download again, you can actually see the download process going on here. So we're gonna let this download and then I will pick up uh, the video once it's done. All right, we have everything downloaded here and we can just click off, uh, click the X button here and we wanna load the model. So the download's complete. Uh, you could click here to load it or uh, in the future, you're gonna be typically clicking up here and selecting models that you have. So you can choose to manually load parameters and what this is gonna do is let you um, actually select specific things. So like GPU offload, uh, context length. So you might want more than <clears throat> 4,096 tokens. These are more advanced features. I typically, um, and you have even more advanced stuff once you uh, can manually set the parameters. You don't have to do this. Uh, you can just click, you know, load model and it'll be fine. So we're just gonna go ahead and load the model. Takes a second here depending on how fast uh, your drive is. So we'll give it a second to load up. And I have in my other browser window, I'll post a link to it, but it's a GitHub repo with some AI testing prompts. And we'll po paste in um, just an example here, like can you explain how quantum computing works? And we'll just shoot that over to the model and look how quick that is. It's almost like you're using chat GPT or something like that. I think it gets about 50 uh, tokens per second, maybe like 40 to 50 tokens per second typically, but this is really usable. Uh, and like, I wouldn't have any issues using this for actual like real use instead of chat GPT. Now, of course, there's gonna be certain things um, like how well did this answer it? Like it's going really fast. The tokens are great, but like, did it answer it well? Um, okay, so 48.3 tokens per second. Um, and did it answer it well? I don't know. I don't know a lot about quantum computing, but it looks like it did pretty good. Maybe we'll do um, something a little bit more interesting, like seeing how it handles ambiguity. So like we would have to start a new conversation here, which is pretty easy. You can just hit the plus button. And then if you start out with something like that has no context, they could say like, 
you want it to basically say like, I'm sorry, not hallucinate, you know, something that you talked about. Um, you can do something more uh, where maybe you'd have a better understanding, which is like, how do the economic policies of the 20th century influence today's global economy? And then it could actually like go into it and uh, answer it for you in a way that hopefully makes sense. You can see there's some weirdness in here, like, these breaks. I'm not sure why it's putting everything in a table, but maybe it just thinks that that's the best way to answer it. Um, but at least they now give us something that's a little bit more readable, but the formatting is a little bit weird. Uh, but overall, it seems to be doing really well. 48 tokens per second, which is super usable. Uh, and you can see, you know, we can add more models here. So if we go over to the search, and let's just say we want this tiny, this is for tool use. Let's try something like uh, Quen 3, 4 billion. So let's go ahead and download that. And this one will download pretty quick. It's only a couple gigabytes here. So um, it'll just show you how easy it is to switch between models, uh, which is really great. Uh, it's super nice to be able to have a bunch of different models, especially if you have less VRAM. You might want to get like a specific model for coding, a specific model for uh, tool use. Uh, you can see like this one's more meant for tool use, which is great. Uh, so we'll go ahead and load the model here, close out of that. And now once it's loaded, uh, you could, you know, we could use the current model or we could load in one uh, that exists already. So let's just, this one, I don't know if it's going to answer very well because it's uh, built for tool use, I guess, but this one's also doing like a, uh, a table so maybe something with the prompt it just really likes <laughs> putting everything in the table the formatting is actually still a little weird with the breaks here but uh, overall looks great 93 tokens per second so it is cruising it's a little bit shorter than the last one but it looks great so yeah that's it that's how easy it is to get uh, local AI running using LM studio there's some more advanced ways you can do it like if you want to go through Olama and use open web UI, um, or if you just want to do everything straight through Python or something like that, there's more complex ways, but if you're just looking to get a local AI set up and you have enough VRAM, this is the absolute best way to do it. So hopefully this was helpful, and uh, there's going to be a lot more videos with AI coming, so I'll see you in the next one.